called David Norby. Thank you. Followed by David Trejo. Ladies and gentlemen of the committee, thank you very much for taking time to hear us. Um, very briefly, I'd just like to address some of the points that were brought up. Uh, I live in the west side of Manchester, I'm representing myself, and also the Constitution of the United States and this state of Manchester. Uh, gentlemen behind me, I'm sure they have the best intention. Uh, they brought up that there's no reason for a civilian, whatever that is, to possess a magazine which just can hold more than, I believe, this camera homes they were suggesting. Uh, recently, a pregnant woman picked up her scared black rifle with a normal capacity magazine, killed a whole bunch of home invaders, saved the rest of her family. If she had not had that, she'd be dead. They want a woman like that dead. The criminals are not going to care about the law. That is the definition of a criminal. Criminals don't care. They're going to go out and get the most lethal weapons they can. They get fully automatic weapons when they can. And they use them against civilians. And they use them against law enforcement. So very briefly, um, their stats are garbage. They just saw it. The number of rough of assault rifles and the number of magazines have gone up by perhaps a thousand times since the end of the assault Gun violence obviously has not gone up that much, but it's not proportional to at all. They say there's support from the public for this type of legislation. I don't see them. Where is the public that supports this legislation? Where are they? They're not here. They're not here. They're from out of state. They're from out of state. These are citizens from our state, right here, that are against this legislation. All right. I was shooting recently. Uh, someone that I know, associated with, actually built his own firearm. He built his own <coughs> firearm. If you pass, Bill, if they get what they want, what's going to happen is they're going to create an underground gun industry because they're not that hard to build. If you want to ban guns, if you want to ban magazines, if you want to end all the stuff like they want to, you've got to ban machining, you've got to ban chemistry, all right? You've, you've got to ban, basically, you've got to ban the laws of physics. You can't do it. You're going to ban a magazine, that's a box with a spring in it. They want to ban boxes with springs. I don't know how they expect to do that. I really don't. Because there's a dozen ways from study now, especially to make them. Half this gun was 3D printed. The other half he made by himself with hand tools. <coughs> Okay, uh, all right, they brought up the Founding Fathers didn't have uh, weapons that held more than 10 rounds. That's garbage. <coughs> Lewis and Clark took a repeating 50 caliber rifle to go across the country. Repeating 50 caliber rifle, had it capacity, I think they could shoot, I think, more than 70 rounds. More than 70 rounds. Not too many people had these because it was a very expensive rifle at the time. But that was the state of the art, right? which is way more than what they're talking about here. <coughs> Oh, gun confiscation, uh, removal of private firearms, always leads to genocide. Don't think it can happen in this country. It's already happened in this country. A wounded knee. When the army went to disarm the Indians, a wounded knee. 400 people died, men, women, and children, because of firearms disarmed. Oh, also, this week, one last thing before I go. Uh, I went shooting uh, this weekend. Turns out that a few of my friends were there. Happened to be Jewish. Happens to be Jewish. Now, I'm not going to call these gentlemen Nazis because they're not, that would be slander. All right, that would be slander because they're not Nazis. Yet, yet, every genocide comes after a firearms confiscation. So if you want it to happen again, keep going down this road. Just keep going down this road. They keep going down it. I don't know why. They know it doesn't work, but they keep going down this road. <laughs> so anyway, I could go on for a lot longer, but I think I've got the point across. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Please vote against this very, very bad code. <clears throat>